Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of California Ant Keeper. Today is going to be the beginning of a series on how to care for a certain type of species. And today's species is going to be fire ants. It's been about three weeks since I've shown this colony and there's already a major improvement on how many workers they have. And this colony is just out of control already. Let's start off by talking about the founding stage. And with these queens they do alright with just a basic test tube and cotton. I've never had any problem with that and a lot of these queens are fertile to begin with. This is actually the species I find the most queens of. And this particular queen was put straight into a mini heart to begin with, no test tube for her. This queen had her first workers after only three weeks. And that this time, that's when you can start giving them protein and carbohydrates, sugar. I recommend keeping their protein levels very low. Because if you feed them too much protein, they will grow to a crazy number really fast. This is one of the easiest species to raise into a giant colony. The hard part about keeping them is that they are very good at escaping. This species will thrive in temperatures from about 85 degrees Fahrenheit to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. They like it really warm, but beware the warmer it is, the faster they're going to grow. Right when this queen has her first workers, you can feed these live prey right away. But make sure it's something small so that it's easy for them to take down. When I feed a small colony like this, I make sure that the insect I give them is already injured or sick or dying. But as you can see, this colony is only two months old and they are already swarming their prey. A colony this big could probably eat about two crickets a day if I let them. But I'm trying to monitor the protein levels that I give them because I don't want this colony to get too crazy too fast. I've already separated this colony away from all my other colonies just in case they escape. I don't want them to kill any of my other already established colonies. They can escape through the tiniest holes if the plugs are not put on right on these mini hearths. Alright, now that we know how to care for these types of ants, it's time to get a real idea on these. I wasn't sure if there was Solenopsis xyloni or Solenopsis invicta, but this picture tells it all. Solenopsis invicta actually has a third tooth right in the center, so this is definitely the red imported fire ant, Solenopsis invicta. I tried to give them another queen, but they did not accept it, so she's now in their trash pile. But as I always say with this species, it definitely do not recommend it for beginners. It's not if they escape with this kind of species, it's when they escape. And when they escape, it will be bad because these will sting. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll do another update and care video very soon. And thank you guys for supporting my channel.